Those charged with overseeing sexual assaults by priests are now reviewing their own accountability. Alex Dimitri reports it's the main topic of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops currently meeting in Baltimore. The Marriott's guests this week are the Catholic Church's top managers in America. Bishops and cardinals from throughout the country embroiled in a massive sex scandal that broke last year in Pennsylvania. A grand jury report charged 300 priests with more than 1,000 sexual assaults on children over 50 years. The victims groan now, but the memories fresh. We're talking rapes. These are the evil bastards that stole my life. Some families complained to then Bishop William Keeler, who went on to become Cardinal Keeler of Baltimore. The grand jury found Keeler acted with criminal inaction by doing nothing about the attacks. Now bishops are debating how to judge their own accountability in sex abuse allegations. Outside, not everyone believes bishops are the best people to take on that job. They need to get more deliberate about investigating. They're still going to investigate internally. It, as, as the Attorney General in Pennsylvania said, we can't trust the bishops to police themselves. And two advisory panels were sounding the same alarm. Bishops should be held to the same standards as other clerics. And this proposed model still gives the perception of bishops investigating bishops. The role of church lay members could be expanding. The proposed directives allow for robust participation by the laity which builds upon the experience in this country when responding to allegations against priests and deacons. A final blueprint for the bishop's behavior will be voted on on Thursday. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.